Yo guys, I did the impossible. I completed extinction with all 10 relics fully active. This game has been out for more than 10 years, but a full 10 relic solo game was still not beaten by anyone. It was considered to be impossible. Until today. Some of you might have seen this video where I beat point of contact with 9.5 relics. In that run I did have all 10 relics on, but I did use the half mortal glitch. The half mortal glitch allows one class to be used in a 10 relic game, and this kinda turns it into a 9.5 relic game, but it was still an incredible feat, and that video became very popular. The enormous support and the growth of my channel have also fired me up, to do something even more insane. A full 10 relic run on hardcore difficulty. For the people that don't know what relics are, let me introduce them real quickly. If you are familiar with the skulls in Halo 2, they are pretty much the same thing. They are game modifiers that you can turn on to make the game a lot more difficult, and in turn you get an increased amount of score. The game developers definitely never intended all 10 relics to be turned on at the same time. You literally can't do anything. Here is a list of all 10 relics with their effects. These three relics in particular make the game so incredibly hard. First we have Mortal, which disables my classes. Then No Machines, which disables sentry guns and turrets. And then the hardest relic in the game, Earn Your Keep, which disables ammo drops and support items. And I also can't search or craft. These three relics together completely disable the loadout you normally heavily rely on. The other relics basically just make me really weak and fragile. Stench Your Ground makes me really slow. Fragile causes me to barely regenerate any HP. I also take more damage, I do less damage, and I can only use my pistol. Luckily the pistols in this game are kind of decent, but because of limited ammo and smaller wallet I have to be really careful I don't run out of ammo. So yeah, running every relic makes this game stupidly hard. So how did I ever manage to do a full 10 relic run on hardcore difficulty? Let's first look at all the possible maps in Extinction. The first map is Point of Contact. This map is an introduction to the game mode and by far the easiest map in the game. So it would be the obvious choice. But the last part of this map where you have to escape is actually really hard. When I did a 9.5 relic run on that map, I just barely managed to survive with literally 1 HP left. The tank class was crucial in my 9.5 relic run, so unfortunately there's no way I could possibly survive with the full 10 relics. So let's take a look at the other maps. The second map in extension is Nightfall. This is arguably the hardest map in the game. I would never be able to get to the final fight, and even if I would get there, I would immediately die by the boss. So this map is out of the question. The third extension map is Mayday. On this map it may be just barely possible to get to the final fight with 10 relics, but the Kraken boss fight would definitely kill me. It's a 10 minute long fight where I would have to survive the Kraken and the aliens that are spawning. I've attended this a lot, and unfortunately I had to conclude it's impossible. The next map on the list is Awakening. This map is extremely buggy, and by using that to my advantage I could maybe get to the end. But similar to Point of Contact, at the end you need to escape the map. The escape on this map is even harder than the one on Point of Contact, so this map is also impossible. This means that there is only one map left, Exodus. This map is considered as one of the hardest maps in Extinction by Nightfall. But it's also a bit of a special map. To beat Exodus, you have to open 3 doors towards the 3 different areas, and then in each area you have to activate 2 generators. Instead of having increasingly more difficult areas like the other maps, in Exodus you can choose in which order you want to tackle the different areas. Because of this, with careful planning and a lot of practice, I may be able to get to the final fight. The final fight however is where it gets impossibly difficult. You have to charge the Cortex, which is basically a giant soul box. You need to make roughly 200 kills while the spawns go absolutely crazy. Three ancestor bosses will spawn, one from every direction, and they go paired with rhinos, phantoms, goggles and a bunch of other stuff. There's absolutely no way I can beat this with 10 relics. The only way to do it would be to cheese the hell out of it. The final DLC map was a bit rushed and there were a few glitches left over in the game. If I can get to the final fight, there is a very small chance I might actually be able to pull it off. I theorized the possibility of this run over a year ago, but decided it was not humanly possible. But because of the massive success of my 9.5 relic run and the massive growth of my channel, I took another shot at it. So with the map chosen, I started the grind. In the past 3 weeks, I did a lot of attempts on stream. 
And when not streaming, I was probably testing new strategies. I think I played more than 100 hours of extension in the past three weeks, but it was all worth it, because in the end, it resulted in this run. After a lot of attempts, I figured out the best route for getting to the final fight. I first opened the door towards the gas station. The first door is still easy, even with 10 relics. There are only scouts, which are the weakest enemies in the game, and one hunter, which is like 4 scouts packed in one. I killed them without a problem, and I also completed the challenge of getting 10 kills inside the circle, giving me a skill point. I put the skill point and the one I got at spawn into my pistol, giving me an arc attachment and extend max. And now I'm already at maximum power. The pistol is the only thing I can upgrade with my skill points because of all the relics. And the third and fourth pistol upgrades are also useless in this run. This is the main reason why 10 relics is so extremely hard. The game is gonna get harder and harder and I've already reached my peak. Now it's time for the second door leading to the parking garage. This door is already a lot more difficult since there will be scouts and hunters but also a gargle, scorpions and bombers. But since there is no drill or anything else I need to protect, and I don't care about the challenge, I'm just gonna leave. I immediately go to the gas station I just opened up. In the gas station there are two Tesla traps. These traps are gonna carry me during these doors. They can one shot scouts, hunters and scorpions. So by going to the spot the Tesla traps are gonna kill almost everything going my way. Only the gargles are still a big problem. They take 4 Tesla shocks to be killed and they can shoot from range. Since they are far away, my pistol also does neglectable damage, so it's best to just dodge their shots and wait for them to die by the Tesla traps. Now it's time for the third door towards the office area. During this door, there are going to be even more enemies, two gargles and also seekers. But again, since I don't care about the challenge, I can just leave and go towards the gas station. I have lost some runs here, but by avoiding the two gargles and the scorpion, the Tesla traps normally kill everything. Now the whole map is opened up, and we're going to start with the generators. Every area has different enemy types I have to deal with, and the office is by far the most difficult, since there will be phantoms. These guys have a lot of HP, are very fast, and deal a ton of damage. By doing the office area first, there is only one phantom and a few hunters and scorpions during each generator. If I would do it later, there would be two phantoms and a lot more hunters and scorpions. It would literally become impossible. So doing this area first is the only way. But with 10 relics, one phantom is still almost guaranteed dead. And that's exactly the reason why I opened up the whole map. By picking up 3 eyeballs across the map, I can get star power for 3 minutes. The creators of Guitar Hero worked on this game, and they threw in this awesome easter egg, which is going to be my key to success. With star power, I can reload faster, melee quicker, repair the generator faster, and also get wall vision. By doing this area first and using star power, the office is just barely possible. I still lose more than 50% of my runs here, but at least I have a chance. Not having to deal with the scorpion is also nice, because then I can go out of my uh, safe area more. I had to kill the scorpion before I saved the generator because otherwise the scorpion would fuck me up while I was preparing it. But it went very well. Oh man, I've got him so good at his first hive, it's insane. I've done it so many times now as well, but I couldn't have really good at it. Back in the day I lost like 60% of my runs during that hive. But now I'm, I'm clearing it 3 times in a row, which is crazy. The generator almost broke and I was on 1 HP, but I did manage to survive. I immediately started the next generator because star power is slowly running out. Unfortunately it will run out before the next phantom spawns, but at least this generator location is a lot better than the previous one. It's located in this corner and scorpions have more trouble hitting me here, so it's a lot easier to protect the generator. So this means I just have to avoid going down. Okay, now we'll repair the generator. By ammo. Now I'm ready for phantom. 
the second time. Struck by the Phantom. Oh no. What the hell? He's supposed to go away after that. I was struck by the Phantom and the Scout, so I couldn't run away from the Phantom. And when he, uh, when the Phantom was in, in stunned, he was like, oh, players real close by, let's take him again. Taking one down there is very sad, but it's not game over yet. If we can get to the end with one self revive, I can still execute my plan. I just have to not take any more downs. Now it's time for the garage area. Luckily there will be no more phantoms, but there will be scorpions, seekers and a bit more hunters. The scorpions are luckily really stupid in this area, and they love to sit on the second floor of the garage. If I position myself correctly, they are not really able to hit me. So by killing the seekers before they explode on me and also protecting the drill, the first generator is not too much of a problem. The second generator on the other hand is terrible. The first ancestor will spawn right at the start. If I'm in his line of sight, he can kill me really fast with black holes, so I have to hide. But if I'm not in his line of sight, he will throw black holes at the generator, doing a lot of damage. He also has a ridiculous amount of HP, so killing him is out of the question. My only chance is to try and protect the generator and repair when necessary. If seekers spawn when I'm repairing the generator, I'm also basically dead. This is the second big run killer. 50% of the attempts that get here die. But if I manage to survive, I have a real shot at getting to the final fight. Again, a double hunter setup. This time I will melt them away though. One hunter just decided to leave by himself. And there he is. I'm gonna kill these seekers and then I'm gonna grab the generator. There we go. Oh, that was so close. It was literally about to go to zero. It, it was like... He had... Aliens were slamming it and as soon as the aliens hit, it was just repaired. It was so close. Uh, it wasn't like four, but even... It was even like it was really just going to die. Like, if I didn't prepare it at that specific second before the, the hunter hit, it would have died. I need to. S I don't want to prepare it again though. So I'm going to try to just protect it. Oh, I have to repair it again. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't have to repair it again. That's nice. I get hit by a black hole, bro. Okay, nice. We survived. That was so close. <laughs> Again, the generator almost died and I was on 1 HP. But I did manage to survive. The Ancestor just leaves by the way at the end of the generator, so I don't have to deal with him. Now there's only two generators left at the gas station. Because I'm doing this area last, there's going to be three gargles and a lot of hunters doing each generator. But you might remember the Tesla traps. These Tesla traps are going to carry me hard during the last two generators. I just have to be really careful I don't die by the gargles. I have lost some runs here, but compared to the stuff I had to deal with earlier, this is pretty tame. The first generator is activated without a problem, and now I arrive at the final generator. During this one there is going to be another ancestor, but this ancestor is really stupid. He can't attack the generator for some reason, so if I stay out of his line of sight, he basically does nothing. He will spawn some hunters every now and then, but they will get killed by the Tessa traps. This area would probably be really difficult if it wasn't for the Tessa traps. Just listen to how many kills they're making. This other goggle will die real quickly though. Oh wait, there's gonna be one more. There he is. Thank you so much, Tesla traps. Because of you, I was able to activate these last generators. I do decide to kill the ancestor real quick for some money. He takes a lot of bullets to kill, but when he dies he gives a lot of money, so I make sure I have max bullets and max money when he does. Now it's time for the impossible final fight. 
but I have a plan. And Pause Me explains it perfectly. Okay, so this is the final fight, guys. Um, I'm gonna start this Medusa device. I have to charge it with kills and then I have to activate it. Uh, the thing is that there will be an ancestor from that side, that side, and that side. And every ancestor goes paired with different spawns and they will courage. fuck me up like crazy. I'm getting on that rocket. Uh, to avoid that, I'm gonna do the door glitch. I'm gonna open that door during the Medusa fight. Then I'm going to jump out of bounds, and, and that's going to keep me safe. Uh, but I need to do the out of bounds jump. That's one of the hardest safe jumps I've ever done in my life. And I'm going to practice that. And to practice that, I got a second Xbox. <laughs> so my Xbox is right there. It's a white one. I also have a gray one. I landed from uh, H, who was in the chat a while ago. I don't know if he's still here. Um, I can activate Medusa right now. There we go. I'm not gonna. I'm going to first practice the... Uh, strafe jump. So I'm gonna switch to Xbox real quick. Okay, yo, what's up, system? You're just in time, man. I have a game set up. I just need to practice the out of bounds jump. So this is the out of bounds jump, and I failed. The out of bounds jump is really hard. Um, and I got practice. I wanna do this five times in a row, then I'm confident I can do this. I failed again. Piston teach me moves. Okay, there we do it. This, this tiny area, this, this is all I can move. This is where I have to jump in. It's an incredibly hard jump to do. And I have to do it from that spot, and I have to strafe, otherwise I don't have enough speed. So if you don't run any relics, you can just aim like this, and then jump and run, and you do it. Because I'm running 10 relics, of course I can't do that. I need to do a very nice strafe jump. Also, for the people that uh, are new, I, uh, I have a pro controller uh, where I can customize a few things. And what I did is I made a separate strafe settings thing uh, with an extra uh, sensitive right stick. So what I do in a strafe is I turn and I press A. So turn press A. And I made my stick super aggressive. So I'm at max turning speed. So I have maximum speed when strafing. Otherwise, this jump is even less consistent. I've noticed the strafe settings really help in uh, doing this jump. And I'm still struggling a lot. In the actual game, I only have one or two tries to do this jump. If I can't do it, I will die by the aliens. I've only gotten to the final fight three times out of my 68 attempts. And this strafe jump is really hard. It's by far the hardest step in this run. So I turn off live chat, I turn off my phone, and I went into full focus mode. I practiced this jump for half an hour which is the same time as it took to get to this point in the first place. Let's see if it was all worth it. Let's do it one more time and then we send it, guys. One more time and then we do the run. See the answer spawn, open the door. Run towards the ladder, jump up, line up very quickly, and I send it. Beautiful. Okay, we switched the HDMI. This is it guys, climb the ladder, line up, and jump. Okay, before I turn on the thing, I need to first turn on this trap. Oh, I'm so stressed right now. I'm so stressed. I really hope I can do this. Trap is live. Okay, traps are online. I'm turning on the Medusa device. I hope I get the left gate or front gate. gate. Hopefully left gate. Left gate will be best scenario. You, this will be my final order. Give him hell. Left gate is perfect. Kill the scouts. Kill two scouts. Ancestor, coming from the west gate. And now we have two attempts at this, I think. Fuck yes, I do it first attempt. Let's go, boys! Oh, fuck. Fuck yes, we have a game! Okay, since we got left gate and the door glitch makes that uh, front gate, I can go immediately into this spot. Uh, there's gonna be rhinos and uh, seekers and scouts and hunters during this gate. Normally you can't go in this spot because goggles will fuck you up, but because there's no goggles, I'm good here. It was all worth it. I got out of bounds and I'm in a safe spot, so I don't die. If I didn't do this, I would've probably already been dead by the rhinos and the seekers. So at least I'm safe for now. 
But how in the world am I going to fill the Cortex? I need to charge the Cortex by making kills. But if I do, Aliens will attack the Cortex to reduce its charge. The big problem is that I can't charge it faster than the Aliens can reduce it. I have spent hours in the Out of Bounds, testing and tier crafting. But in the end, I did find a way to make 10 relics possible. The key to success is this spot, right here. So this spot is a spot that Aliens can't get into. Um, after that car, the Aliens are not supposed to go in the area after this car. If they fall down in this area, which I'm trying them to do, they get stuck, like these two Seekers. These Seekers AI is totally broken because they are in an area they shouldn't be in. When I figured this out, I came up with a plan. If I trap literally every melee attacking alien, the Cortex can't be attacked anymore. Scorpions are the only enemies I can't trap, but they don't attack the Cortex. So if I trap everything but a few Scorpions, I just need to kill like 200 of them to fill the Cortex. The plan was perfect. But there are a few roadblocks I have to deal with. Okay, I can leave this spot. As you can see, there's one scout left, which is uh, not a problem. Um, so, one scary thing, one very scary thing, the game can crash. Uh, I've had it before. Uh, yesterday, I got really close. I failed to Medusa at like three quarters, and then the game crashed. The game crashes because if the ancestors can't see me for more than 10 minutes, uh, they are idle for too long and the game will run out of memory and the game will crash. So I gotta make sure every 10 minutes I look at the ancestors and make sure the ancestors can see me and I need them to throw a black hole. That's really important. That's how I failed last game. I don't want that to be repeated in this game. I think I just got into overtime because of the screen shake. The screen shake normally uh, notifies overtime. Uh, so since I'm in overtime now, uh, phantoms can spawn. And I want to trap the phantoms. So I'm going to kill a few aliens to make sure the phantoms spawn. And then I'm going to trap the phantoms as well. So there was that scout somewhere I'm going to kill. And I'm also going to jump into this truck. I'm going to kill this hunter because I don't trust that hunter at all. Okay, he fell off. Never mind. That's also perfect though. Right now the alien cap is reached. I think there's a 23 alien cap. Or 24. Uh, I killed the scout now, so now something else is going to spawn. I'm going to see if it's a phantom or a scorpion. That's like the only things that can still spawn. Because there is enough hunters, seekers and rhinos already. So the, the rhino seekers and hunters cap is reached. So that scout can only turn into a phantom or a scorpion. It's a scorpion. Okay. Uh, then we kill something else because we want the phantoms to be trapped. We kill another seeker. Okay, that seeker I killed spawned into scouts. So I'm gonna kill that scout, see if a phantom will spawn. Okay, and that a scout. Also fills the Medusa bar by a tiny bit. So I need to kill. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got a phantom, which is good. Uh, now we gotta trap it. So uh, now it's gonna be a bit more difficult to trap aliens because there's a scorpion as well. It's gonna shoot this spot. It's gonna try to shoot the spot. But phantoms are pretty erratic movements, or have pretty erratic movements, so they get stuck rather easily, normally. I have to look out for the scorpion now. Okay, I think I just got hit by the phantom. So it should get be stuck somewhere now. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, nice. And we can proceed. Uh, we need to trap one more phantom, and then we can start uh, massacring a uh, thousand scorpions. I'm gonna knife that seeker. We definitely got another scorpion because we got a voice line that another scorpion spawned. Okay, uh, I'm gonna kill this hunter and I hope a second phantom spawns. I need to trap two phantoms because that's the, the gap. Okay, that's the other phantom. Let's go. That's good. Also, making sure all the ancestors throw a black hole every 10 minutes, otherwise, the game crashes. So I'm, uh, Making sure everything through a black hole that just happened, so all three of them just through. Uh, that's good, it's perfect. Okay, let's just trap this other uh, ancestor, uh, prior phantom. One eternity later. Come on, try to attack me, try to attack me, try to attack me. So we should be peace. Oh, I, he attacked me, he attacked me, where is he, where is he? Where is he? So the scorpions are not here. And there is two phantoms in there, let's go, okay. Now it's time guys, now it's time. First of all, I'm gonna uh, make sure the ancestors all shoot the black hole to reset the 10 minute crash timer. 
So that answers the shot, that answers the shot. And now this one needs to shoot as well. There we go. All ancestor time is refreshed. What I need to do now is jump off the map and run towards that boss over there with the Lefty Trap. Um, for that to be successful, I need the ancestors to be over there. Because otherwise, they kill me. They kill me real quick. So I need all three ancestors to be gone. I need, to be, need them to be over there, all the way there. Okay, I think this is the moment. I I'm gonna fucking do it. Let's go. Okay, so now I run. Touch the scorpion. I hear a black hole incoming. Okay, now we run, now we run, we run, we run. By the way, I have no self refs anymore. Okay, I made it. I was really scared about that. Like, if the ancestors all decided to throw a uh, black hole at me at the same time, I would have died. My heart rate is going crazy right now. But now I got here, the ancestors can't get here because they can't go through that gate. So now I'm going to use this Tessa trap to kill the scorpions. It's going to repeatedly kill the uh, scorpions and it's going to fill them with user device. I have to make sure every 10 minutes the ancestors shoot the black hole at me. So I have to go in there and I have to make them shoot the black hole at me. It's going to be really scary. Uh, but I have to do it. So I'm just going to do it right now so I'm sure uh, I have the correct time. So, yo ancestors, how are you doing? You see me, right? You want to throw a black hole at me? Yeah, yeah, you too. Okay. Okay, so now I have uh, 10 minutes. Uh, every 5 minutes I will make sure the ancestors throw a black hole. So I have 5 minutes spare time to make sure uh, it's going to happen. In the meantime, I'm going to kill scorpions with this trap. As you can see, it's already a tiny bit filled. Uh, I just need to keep doing this. Before this run, I've gotten to this point one time. That run, I decided to go to the gas station, because I thought it would be more safe. I was really far in that run, but then this happened. No, 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 no. Why didn't the ancestor throw any black holes? Why didn't the ancestors throw any black holes? Why didn't he do that? I gotta do this whole shit again now. This is so sad, guys. This is so sad. I really thought I had it. So yeah, the game crashing is a real problem. And to be safe, I decided to trigger the ancestors every three minutes. Getting to this point took one and a half hour. And filling the Medusa is gonna take an extra hour. I'm gonna have to risk my life triggering the ancestors about 20 times. But slow and steady wins the race. Scorpions can't hit me from there. I figured out that this is the best spot by the way. If I sit here, the scorpions can't hit me from there. Uh, they don't have a spot to sit there. They can sit on that truck and on that truck, but they can't shoot me from there. Uh, the only way they can shoot me from is if they go on top of that thing, but they will get shocked. Or if they go on top of this um, truck and they will get shocked. So I figured out this is the best spot to stay in. Uh, is it safer than gas station? No, because I need to trigger the ancestors to throw black hole at me every five minutes. It's going to be so scary. That type of line. How are you going to activate it? I'm going to make... I'm going to bait them all to throw a black hole. And I'm just going to run in. <laughs> it's going to be so scary. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I have to kill 200 scorpions, by the way. So it's going to take a while. Okay, I'm going to go now. Fuck it. I don't think they're scorpions. Yo, ancestors, what's up? So that's a problem. This, there was one ancestor that was behind the Medusa. So he couldn't throw. So that's why it wasn't the best moment to go. So I'm gonna go again a bit. That's why I'm taking a lot of lineage in making them throw. But uh, I'm gonna make sure the, the game doesn't crash. So there we go. One, two, three black holes. Good. Okay, so now I have another 5 minutes, so that means at uh, 3 hours and 50 minutes of streaming I'm gonna make them throw black hole again. Until that time, I'm just gonna chill here. One hour later. Okay, 1, 2... Oh, he tried to lift me up, the fucker. Oh, if I would have been lifted up, I would have been dead. Okay, that's the fake voice line. He says we go for launch, but he's lying. We not go for launch. We need to fill it a bit more. Then he says activate the cortex now, and then we can do it. 
I see one, two, three ancestors all in vision. I see one, two, three black holes. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm gonna fill it up and then I need to activate the Medusa. Bailu just gave the 10 subs. This is good. Now I'm gonna get the notifications the whole time. Thank you though, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Weeks in the making, but I've been, this has been a year in the making. The last three weeks, I know, I know for a year it's possible. The last three weeks I've just been grinding it like crazy. Don't distract him. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna listen guys, I'm not gonna listen, I'm gonna focus up. Okay, okay, I can activate it. I'm gonna activate, make sure the ancestors are all uh, triggered. The way I'm sure I have time to do this final part. Okay, they all threw a black hole. And now I'm gonna wait for them to be in a good position. And then I'm gonna run towards Medusa. I just have to activate it now, guys. Activate the Cortex now. Make this poison gas go away, please. Then I can climb in this. Okay, so if I'm up here, I can see where the ancestors are at. So two of them are good. I just need this one to move a bit. So this one has to move a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's going, it's going, it's going good. Okay, 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 I think this is the moment. So I trigger the ancestors. I only trigger two of them, that's fine. I'm gonna run for it, guys, I'm gonna run for it. Holy shit! There's gonna only be one black hole that hits me, but it's probably gonna... Fuck yes! Three weeks in the making, guys! Oh, fuck yes! Fuck yes! First ever full time rally completion! My score in the end is 526,000! Shit, I wanna grab a beer right now! Thank you guys so much for the support in the chat! Holy shit, 50 gifted from the destroyer! Thank you so much! Oh, let's check the leaderboards, let's check the leaderboards! Still on hardcore! I'm 60th in the world, which is. Hell is sick. Like, uh, not running 10 relics, running 9 relics is the best way to do high score runs. But I think it's so cool that I'm the only one on this leaderboard with 10 relics. Like, if you go to the top, but it's all 9, 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, 6, whatever. 8, 7, I don't know. And then, what place am I again? 16th place? Fucking 10 relics, baby! On the board! On the fucking board! Oh my god! This one's for you guys. And for me as well. I'm gonna celebrate the shit. So that's the story of how I completed a full 10 relic run. In total, this single run took more than two and a half hours. I still can't believe it's finally over. I want to thank everyone for watching till the end and joining the streams. By the way, I'm a very small YouTuber and I put my heart and soul into this run and making this video. I read every comment, so make sure to say something stupid and give me a quick like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.